OK, so welcome back. Now we're going to look at the um, next two uh, bullet points um, in your Office Move project. Uh, the first of which is where you're asked to set up a calendar for your project. Uh, and the second is where you assign that calendar and a project start date to the project. So taking the setup of the calendar, first of all, you need to go to the project group tab up on top. Uh, and in order to set up a calendar, you go to the change working time. You click on it and you'll get a dialog box that looks like this. In order to set up a new calendar, you click over here on create new calendar and uh, you'll be prompted for a name of the calendar. So we're going to call this the office move calendar. Um, and notice down here, it's asking you what calendar do you want to copy? So make a copy of standard and you hit OK. So when you go back to the change working time dialog now, you'll see up here, it says office move calendar on top. So now that you've set up your office move calendar, the next thing you need to do is put in the holidays that you were given in the assignment. Uh, so the Christmas holidays, you need to scroll down here to, to December, click on the 24th of December and then put in Christmas holidays uh, and hit return. And now it says Christmas holidays starting and ending on the 24th of December. But in fact, if you click over here on finish and down arrow, and change that to the 28th of December. So you'll see the Christmas holiday week blocked out there from December 24th to 28th. So the other holiday you were asked to enter then was New Year's Day. Uh, so you scroll down another tiny bit, pick the 1st of January and down here you call it New Year's Day. And you click away from there and then you'll see the 1st of January 2013 is put in as a holiday for New Year's Day. Uh, so there are the holidays you were asked to enter into your calendar. So you can hit OK on the calendar. Uh, and now you need, still on the project tab, you need to go into project information uh, and do two things. First of all, you need to assign a project start date, uh, which you were given in this case as December 10th. So you scroll forward and select December 10th. Uh, and you change the calendar. So the calendar here is set to standard. You change it to the office move calendar and you hit OK. So now you've set up a new calendar and assigned it to your project and you can save your file at this point.